Alright, today we're going to be making um, a point system. So every time I run into these little things, I gain a point right down here. So all I'm going to be teaching is like how to do the point system, not really how to move the characters. I think I already have a solo for that. So yeah. Um, you're gonna start out with um. Well, I have my own little template that I made. It's a little move template. I'll probably post it download maybe. Um, but it's pretty very simple to make. So you're gonna make a new plane. Right now I'm just navigating in the the little keys. Remember that. And you're going to want to match it up with your rotation of your camera. Scale it down. So you can, this is like where you can be free. And you can put it up here, over here, and just going to put it down here. Um, then you're going to hold down shift, right click on your camera, control P, make parent. Uh, tab into edit mode, split the area. Um, go into the image editor and um, image open. Um, and then I forget where I have it. Let's, and then we have this little font that we use. It's a specialized font, and it's um, it's so that the um, the texture it can be. You can it, the, the basically what it does is when it's used in a property, it can scroll through these numbers. So you just set it as close as you can to this at. You can go to texture mode to see. You want it to so these um, you want it as close as possible to that. And then since it's upside down, turn it right side up. So there now you have that, but it doesn't really do anything. So you can tab and edit mode because that's the only way you can see this little tab. Go into the editing properties and go alpha. And now it's right there. So then in that way of our that's our main texture. You're gonna make it text. This is really important. Make it a bitmap text space. And then you know logic panels. So now it doesn't show up. So then we're gonna make a property. You have to name it text. Capital T E Capital, capital T, lowercase e, x, t. Text. And then make it an integer again. It's going to be at zero. Now we have our little thing, but there's nothing to collect. Oh no. So we are going to make our little thing. I'm just going to go into here so I can model it. But it doesn't really need to be anything special. I'm just going to do something. Um. Yeah, it'll be a blob. <laughs> we can just make a a little cone is fine. There, now we have a little cone. Let's go back in our first, and it's our little, it's our point that we have to collect. Why is it down there? That's weird. I'll just make another cone. Sorry about that. There, there's our. What is it doing? There, that was weird. Um, I think I clicked something wrong. But there's a there's a point that we need to collect. I'm just gonna make it like green or something. Shade this. Yeah, there's our little point. So what we're gonna do is we're going to here. <gasps> Sorry. And we're gonna make it so when this touches material, so when it touches oh wait, sorry, oh crap. So when it touches material, which is our player right here. This guy. Then it 
then property. Or er, no, no, sorry. Then it's gonna send a message to text. This we have to name text. So it's gonna send a message to him. I'm gonna explain all this in a second. Oops. And then it's gonna be one. So basically, when our player touches his cone, right now it sent a message to this. And then it's also gonna end the object. <coughs> so you can't just keep getting points over and over. So then when this guy, when he receives this message of one, then he is going to um, go into property and add one. So when he touches it, it's gonna be one. But one more thing we have to do. Make both of these actors. If this guy's dynamic, I'm just gonna make him dynamic so we can follow and stuff. Not physics. This guy also needs to be an actor. So now, we run into it, we gain a point right there. So yeah, you can do whatever you want. You can make your little path like I did. Just kinda like a. whatever, like something like that. And then just copy and paste. You can just keep copying and pasting this one point, and it'll work the same for each one. So now we're getting little points. Oh, whoops, sorry. One more thing. Um, on our little point thing, instead of a sign, you have to make add, so then it adds a point. So if we made a sign, then it would only assign one point, making it not able to collect other ones. Well, we can make it add the point. So now we can go and we got our point system done. Uh, Alright, thanks for watching.